Hey guys, this is Matt with MoPro Gaming, and I'm going over this, uh, I guess this new meta defense. I said meta, meta. Meta defense where in the big nickel, uh, let's just go back out. The big nickel uh, over G, big nickel over G. Uh, it could be cover three, cover two, whatever. Any, basically any standard coverage out of this formation. Let's just do cover two. A lot of people like to run cover two. Let's go empty. Uh, let's pick a pass play. So basically what people do is they pinch the line, crash them out, sit in the gap here. And this basically will give you an instant kind of, I mean, I guess block shed. So let's not worry. Let's get a little closer. So there's like a sweet spot. See how the pass protection went from um, from them dropping back, so short to so that's what it's that's what the pass protection should look like, and this is what it looks like now uh, after get nice and short. So that's gonna that's that right there is gonna lead to this instant block shit, right? Okay, so I'm gonna hike the ball just to show you real quick. Uh. All right, um, basically, um, it works. Let me show you one more time just to make it obvious. I mean, I don't think you really need to take my word for it in order to um, believe me. So you just get in there in that gap right there. And then I'm going to hike the ball and I'm not going to drop back. So you get that like weird instant block shared where 77 which is actually the best offensive lineman on this team just lets go just lets go let lets him go it's not even like he beat him so if we look here he just lets him go this this interaction here this interaction right here Lawson versus Cordy Glenn he's not he didn't even really beat him that's not that's just like a, a like a like he just let him go All right so how you uh one way that you can actually just you can defend against, well, not defend, you're on offense. But one way you can kind of eliminate this from being a problem until they patch it, which I think they should. This is ridiculous. Um, one way you can get around this is, uh, it's kind of maybe a very obvious step, but you can just step into the pocket right there. Yep. Just step into the pocket right there. Um, so across the line, you got Lawson, Atkins, Dunlap, these are pretty good pass rushers. The fact that they can't get any pressure on this, I mean, the Bengals offensive line is very garbage. So just go ahead and try this. Just try stepping up into the pocket. It's actually, it's actually not. I mean, if you if you do what I'm about to do, so if you just drop back like this, yeah, you're gonna you're screwed. Yeah, you're screwed if you do that. But, but if you if you're able to step up until they patch this. You're just gonna have to step up into the pocket. It's actually, I'm kind of surprised most people aren't telling you to do this, because you can actually step up into the pocket, right there. You just bought yourself like five, six seconds, because the, the fact that their pass rush angels angles are going wide, the defensive ends, the defensive tackles, are basically they're basically giving you that. So as long as you have, if you have a good offensive line that can hold then you're going to be fine. Now, Geno Atkins is eventually going to disengage. He's a, this guy's an all pro. So obviously he's going to be able to make a play, but let's count how many seconds it took to get a sack. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, three Mississippi. You can, most pass plays have developed by three seconds. So this is four verticals. You could have thrown the crosser. You could have thrown the seam route, especially if this guy, if he's in a user, he's going to already be out of position. So you can, I mean, that's enough time to dot him up with whatever he's got. So that's just a quick tip on how to, um, I guess, get around this. Uh, it's a very obvious tip, I guess. Just step up in the pocket. Um, maybe I should make that the title of this. I don't want people sitting through the whole video thinking, oh, wow, this is, it's that easy. Yeah, it is that easy. And I'm kind of surprised no one's tried that. Like, it looks like you can't step in. It looks kind of scary. Like, oh, shit, I can't step in the pocket. But as soon as you see that, just just, just do it. Because because their angles are so wide, like, it looks like they're going to catch you. 
But if you just keep stepping up, it's fine. So I'll just show you real quick. Like he's get like he lets go, but because if you take a good if you if you step up quick enough, if you've got a quick agile quarterback, look at all that. You've gotten around all that pressure. And I, I'm pretty sure most Madden players who are experienced. So this is maybe for beginners who don't want to do all the special like, oh, okay, I only now I can only call play action plays or now I can only slide the line. Uh, Eric Waite Rayweather, um, he's a he's pretty good. He's got pretty good content. He just released this video talking about how to slide the line. You guys should go check it out. Um, maybe I'll put. I'm kind of new to this YouTube thing, so maybe I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I should. I will. I, I'll try. I'll just say I'll try. <laughs> but yeah, go check out Eric, Eric Rayweather. Go check out his channel. He has a great video on how to like you know deal with this. And this is kind of where I, it's not the first video I've seen on this kind of thing, but it, it to me it's kind of been like I can't believe no one's really said this. Just they say you can't step up in the pocket, but I mean, yeah. Like I'll just do it one more time, just so you know it's not a fluke. And if you think it's a fluke, you can try it yourself. It's pretty. It's not. It's, this is not a very advanced tip. It's pretty actually basic. You can just go like that. Yep. Because they're taking those wide pass rush angles, they're they're just going upfield. So if you do what the standard Madden player does, I'll just show you what the standard Madden player is going to do. Standard person is just going to go. This is what they're going to do. They're going to they're going to do this. They keep backing up, backing up, and then they're like, "Oh my God, why did I get sacked? Why did I get sacked? Oh, you got sacked." So if you ever see this, if you see someone doing this. And you're not nat you're not the kind of person who tries to step up in the pocket. I guess this will force you to to build good habits. So the only thing only thing with that is you gotta you gotta probably start stepping up immediately. So there I kinda waited. So as soon as you see it, like your first move when you say hike, you just go. Just 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 step up now, now, now. Yep, yep. All day. And I'll just show you, just in case some people, some people might be looking at this like, what? Like, really? It's that easy? Like, people have been, yeah, it, it's kind of that easy. And it's on all Madden. I mean, if you don't believe me, just go try it yourself. It's, it's actually pretty, um, pretty easy. So those are, so that's the effect. Just to show you once again, before the pass, the pass blocking is uh, kind of deeper. They're, they're actually getting in a proper uh, drop back. And here... When you get close to the line, for some reason, I guess this is kind of part of the EA's way of trying to stop nano blitzing. Um, I guess that's that's the reason why they do it like that. I don't know. So yeah, see how they're shortened those shortened uh, drops for the offensive linemen. That's that's kind of the problem. So uh, until they patch it, you're just gonna have to learn how to step in the pocket like that. Well, not don't sprint. Just let me do it one more time. And actually, maybe coming coming out under center would help too. So I'll just let me just go ahead and do that real quick. This is going to be a long video, well, not a long video, but probably longer than I thought it would be. So you go, ah, one more time, one more time, one more time. No editing. I was I was thinking about editing this video, but yeah, screw it. Um, Ah, uh, as soon as you hike the ball, you just got to start stepping up, to be honest. I mean, I just did it for you guys. I don't know why I'm screwing it up now. Ugh, quarterbacks. Um, come on. It could just be these, these long drop back plays. But I mean, this is something you can do if you if you don't. Ah, God damn it! Why is he stepping up now? What's going on? Now it's not working for some reason. It's like I just did it like four times in a row earlier. Ah, one more time. One more time. Ugh. One more time. One more time. Ugh, I need to get in that gap. 
You can step up. Yep, right there. Ah, but then I mean, there, that's gonna happen. So if you've got if you've got a good interior path, if you got good interior blockers, then that shouldn't be a problem. Like that's just that's just gonna happen. That's Geno Atkins versus Clint Bowling. Clint Bowling's garbage. I mean, the whole Bengals offensive line is garbage, to be honest. Um, I wouldn't say garbage. I mean, they're professional athletes. It's all relative. You guys know what I mean. Um, yeah, relative to the other, his other 32 peers at that position, he's, he's not, I'd say he's probably average. Yeah, I wouldn't say he's garbage. Just say he's average. Um, which, I mean, if the Bengals want to do well this season, we're going to need more than average. Yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, let me just do it one more time. And if you've watched this video, if you've if you're still watching this, <laughs> uh, salute to you for like you know sticking in there. Uh, this is my first one of my first you well not my first. I have some YouTube streams up there, but this is going to be the first of many videos that I'm going to start releasing uh, in terms of Madden tips. I've been playing Madden for a long time, and I kind of like to lab. As a cut, as a pastime, I actually enjoy laughing more than I enjoy playing games sometimes. So yeah, I'll be releasing basically everything I've laughed um, for the last few years, but I've never really made any videos on it. So uh, hope you look forward to that. And thanks for uh, watching. Let me just show you this one more time before I cut this video out. All right. Oh, let's do it. Yes, see? Yes, yeah, I get it for the last one. Perfect. All right, if you kept watching, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hey guys, uh, this is Matt again from Pro Gaming. Uh, this is just an addendum or uh, just postscript or I don't know, what do people say? Basically, this just an add on to the, to the pre. I guess I'm gonna, I'm actually just gonna splice these videos together. Uh, but anyway, this is this this is just covering how it looks under center uh, when you deal with this kind of defense. So, so if you just come under center, this is just a standard uh, curls. So originally, let me just just to confirm, just so everyone knows, the original block set, the original drop back. Uh, so that's the defense, right? So so. Look at it's it, look at how far back uh, the tackle, the offensive tackle is dropping back. Look at that, and then compare it to now, right? So it's still so it's shorter, right? So this is gonna probably work. This will also work. The defense will also work under un, work if you come under center, but the same concept uh, applies. Just step up in the pocket. So if anything, it's actually easier if you just come under center. Um, yeah, so just come under center. I mean, it's a four-man rush, so you're not gonna, you, you shouldn't expect to have all the time in the world. Just step in the pocket. Oh, wow, look at that. Yeah, nothing they can do. So that's that's probably just come under center. That's uh, that until they patch this shit. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have said shit. My bad. Uh, Cover your ears, kids. Uh, I kind of, I kind of like to swear a lot, but yeah. If you come under center, just go like this. Just step up, step up in the pocket, and I mean, you had three or four guys open. At this point, this is the part of the game where it's not about scheme. Sometimes it's more about stick, stick skill, which is what we used to, which is what the, I, I think people still say stick. You got. It. I think they say sticky now, like oh, that guy's really sticky. He's like he's got really good stick skills. So that's what we used to say back in like when I was watching like Madden, Madden Challenge and all that stuff on you know on ESPN. They you know the guys on the bus would say, oh that guy's got some nice stick skills or whatever. Now they say, now they say sticky. Like oh I've just gotta get sticky with it or something on something some new age shit. I'm 28, so <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not that old, but I started to feel like it. <laughs> Anyways, so just step up. It's the same shit. Just step up in the pocket. It looks congested. 
that's where you gotta you just gotta get you know have some stick skills and if it's a four man rush that means most if it's a four man rush which this concept really only works with a four man rush I've tried it with the three man like if they try to drop people back it's not as effective um, but a four man rush you, uh, because it's a four man rush that means that there will be they can only be playing very standard coverages most likely I mean they might mix it up here and there but there's only going to be seven guys in coverage so it's going to be very easy to h overload one side of the field um so here like slant flat right i mean curl flat because they're rushing four they can only have i mean maybe they might do something like something like that to kind of cover it but then that will just open up the middle of the field i mean i think you kind of get it right I think you guys get it. Basically, if it's a four-man rush, you don't really need that much time to get a, a, a short, a good, quick pass off, right? Sure, yeah, it's like, you know, it's a four-man rush, and it's like, oh, wow, it's getting there really quick, but come under center. Stuff in the pocket. 